Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we will move on to the next step in building an industrial control panel. If you haven't already seen the other videos in this series, we encourage you to go back and watch from the beginning so that you might better understand the entire process. The step in which we will focus on today is beginning the testing phase of the build process. Now that we have gone through the preparation steps needed to test our panel, we can move on to actually checking the functionality of the panel. For the purpose of today's video, we will focus on checking the power distribution throughout the panel and do some basic point-to-point -point continuity checks. As always, the process in which we discuss today is just one method of many that can, can be performed to achieve the very same results. So let's get to it. So now that we've gone through all the steps to prepare for our test, we can actually move on to the actual factory acceptance test uh, to make sure this panel is functioning properly. The first thing we want to do is make sure that before we do any testing, we have our testing document that we created during that kind of preparation phase. We have that ready for uh, our test so that we can make sure that our test moves along in an orderly fashion. The next thing we would need to determine is the necessary hardware that's going to be required for this test. So in the case of uh, the test that we're going to be doing, we're going to make sure that we have some way to power our panel, some sort of temporary uh, power. A multimeter is going to be uh, an absolute must for this test so that we can test the power throughout the panel. A multimeter is also great for checking continuity between two different points within the panel as well. And then depending on the test that you're going to be doing and some of the things that you're going to be checking, a torch screwdriver, uh, if you're testing or using um, the PLC during this test, which we really should be, and we're trying to demonstrate the HMI, a computer or laptop, possibly an OIT screen, um, also a precision screwdriver to make any adjustments, extra wire is also really good uh, for these types of tests in case we need to do any jump ring uh, to troubleshoot or to do other types of tests. And any other kind of hardware that you feel that might be might be necessary. Once we have all this hardware determined, we can move on to the actual test. We always like to start with uh, power distribution, testing the tower power distribution when we begin these factory acceptance tests. A good way to do this is to start with the main incoming power and then work your way downstream from there. So we're going to start again with main utility power and then any devices running on this power. So this might be your power fail relay. There may be an outlet that you have in your panel. These are things that are typically run right off utility power. If utility power dies, these things are going to die, obviously. Uh, so we, we like to check voltage at each of these devices, make sure we, we're seeing what we anticipate. And then we run over to our AC power distribution. Uh, AC power distribution is going to possibly be, you know, could be potentially your PLC. Obviously, you're going to be powering your power supply if you have that. Things like that are going to be uh, under your AC power distribution. DC power distribution is going to be all the other hardware, obviously, that's running on DC. Things like your network switches, uh, possibly your PLC. Some of your I.O. might be requiring DC power. So we're going to check all of the different types of hardware running on each of these types of power. Um, as we go through this, we're also, uh, remember, checking voltage. And then we're also going to make sure that each of these circuits in each of these distribution pipelines functions properly. So we're either going to remove the, few, remove the fuse or uh, turn on and off the breaker to make sure that power is actually being disconnected at each device. So we're going to check that as well, as well as the voltage at each device. Um, and then a good thing also to do is verify the circuit breaker and or the fuse for each circuit. Make sure the size that uh, we have on the breaker or the fuse is the correct size for that particular circuit. Uh, once we've done that, we've done the majority of the testing for the power distribution. Uh, before we move on to any other areas of the test, we want to ensure that everything in the power distribution has been tested. So we're going to look at things like labeling, hardware verification, make sure we've got the right hardware, or, uh, you know, things like uh, our power supplies, the correct amperage rating our hardware locations, again, double check those voltages, and anything else you can think of that might be associated with power distribution, we're going to check that. Once we've completed all this, we can move on to the next step uh, in our testing phase, which has more to do with our signal testing. Making sure that the power is functioning properly throughout the panel is a critical step that will ensure your panel is safe for any operators that might access the panel at a later date. Also, by doing some point-to-point -point continuity checks, we can ensure that everything in the panel is wired correctly. 
As always, we appreciate your interest and participation in this series and hope you continue to join us throughout the remainder of the build process. In our next video, we will move on to testing the various signals in the panel. So make sure to join us next time as we continue the build. For a full line of industrial control panel hardware and thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.